Well, we've got trenches inside the newly backfilled barn. No, what are you doing? Back up, back up. Don't come in. Okay, we have trenches, I hope that don't cave in too much, in our newly backfilled barn. And it's time to put some water lines in. Let's crank the music and get to work. Well, I've got to say, after the snowfall from the last video, uh, we definitely soured things a little bit. And then the rain meant we were delayed a couple of days, but what two good working days gets done is pretty impressive. Uh, first thing was to pour what they call the piers. And by the piers, those are the supports that the support posts are going up. So they poured those at the same time that we dug um, the main water loop trench. Then step two was to obviously lay the water line in there. So got that laid as well as a bit of electrical conduit where we needed it. And this is what happens when you forget the camera was on the roof. I would say it landing there was far more good luck than management. Now with that, um, we do basically the trenchmen dug. Um, they wanted like a couple of inches of sand in the bottom of that trench to lay the uh, water lines in on and that way one it wasn't in the gravel and you know you wouldn't want a stone to nick that or anything like that um they also didn't want it on the clay i i don't know my, why maybe it just doesn't sit as nice on the clay but they wanted the sand so that's fine we can do that um so the sand is in and then we put another little bit of sand on top of that so the next job today's job is to push as hard as we can to get as much of it filled back in packed and regraded to try to avoid the rain that's coming tomorrow because I really am getting tired of pumping water out of everywhere.
Let's actually shut this off for a minute and see where we're at. Okay. Uh, number one, I don't make a perfect excavator, I've decided. Uh, well, I do think tractors like this don't, well, at least this one, doesn't have the greatest visibility at that, like, cutting line at the bottom of the bucket. And so, along here, I, I mean, I got it fairly level. A couple of spots, maybe I dug a little too much gravel out, but it's all right. We've got lots of piles of that, so we'll just add in more if we need it. Um, but here is where, what we're looking at now. And maybe what we'll do is I'll walk you around the whole outside of the barn because <laughs> part of this is for you to see, but also part of it is for me to see because I have heard one of the things from a few others that say it's a nice idea to have a picture or a video of what you did so that when you go back a few months later actually looking for things, you can get an idea of what you're doing. So here's where Melkhouse office all the utilities are so the water tanks are there and what we've got is all these blue sticking out of the ground are various water lines for the most part fluid lines we'll say so water's going to come in here going to go around in a loop we've got it designed to go around for the calf barn too i'll show you that in a minute and then back in and come back so it's always the water's always flowing so it never freezes in the winter time. I mean, it is underground, so the likelihood is low anyway, but still, we want to double, we want to make sure. So it'll always be flowing and circulating and it'll always have that pressure. So water comes in here. This is the first um, drinker. And so basically what it is, is um, the water's gonna come in here have a water, big water trough here, the robots are gonna be there, cows can drink from the water. And then the water, the loop continues and it goes down here. The other thing we've got, these coils are foot baths. And so that way the foot bath stuff is going to be in the utility room and it'll just, we'll be able to just program it to say, okay, um, create a foot bath down at the end um, on foot bath days, and then we'll be able to run cows through that foot bath area, and that just helps disinfect their feet and keep them clean. So, we've got those three lines basically water, um, two foot baths in here, as well as a drain line. And the drain line's a bigger pipe, and it's going to come out from underneath the robots, and it's all the waste water, wash water, things like that, flowing down here. So, that's what we've got down here. So the white one is the drain line. And as you can see, it goes into the gutter area, so it'll wash in there. Um, and then all of the other ones are obviously the foot bath or the water. The water line goes up to here. And here's actually a great look at that loop. So you can see in here, it loops in in this case, there's a hydrant there that we'll be able to hook a hose to, wash things down, things like that, and then it comes back. So it does that. Um, that blue one that's sticking out, that's the foot bath, because one of the foot baths here, and then it loops. Got another water trough here, another hydrant for washing up up here, another foot bath up here, um, and that is kind of all those loops. Then it comes down to just you can see coming through here, I've got this partly filled with sand. Um, just a single water line. So there's nothing else in this trench. Just that single water line. This one is for a sprinkler system. And so lots of barns have um, sprinklers over where the cows eat. And that way on the really hot days, you've got kind of that misting ability. We're not installing that yet, but it's a lot easier to install that today or at least install the water underneath for a little bit of extra pipe we can be ready for it and then whatever time we want to do that we can worry about that but that's kind of prepped for it this is all for kind of the sprinkler lines and basically we're back to the front so not overly complicated but i'm very glad to have justin and john 
who can kind of plan this stuff out so that, I mean, obviously once concrete starts pouring, you can't go back and do this again. So it does take a little bit of planning. So we're gonna keep filling in some gravel. Um, that'll be along in a little bit with the um, tamper from Larry. We'll kind of pack it, then we'll top it up again and we'll pack it again, then we'll roll it. And hopefully that gets everything kind of back to normal. So I'm hoping, well, I'm not hoping, Justin is hoping. Um, he has said that we'll get that three quarter stone in under that hydrant. Because what happens is when you shut that hydrant off, yes, the water drops down and drains out that connection. So this way, when we shut it off, that three quarter stone, it'll take that little bit of water that'll come down the pipe and it'll go somewhere. And then the nice thing is it's not going to freeze up that if the barn gets down below zero. Well, I'm not gonna lie. This is taking huh, a lot longer than I thought it would. I was kind of hoping that a good long day today would get this all done. And it is clear that with today, working tonight and tomorrow for the few hours that I've got tomorrow, uh, we still might not be done. So I may have water to pump after all, but at least we'll get a bulk of it. Actually, let's go see what we got done. Up here, I'll smooth this out, get it packed, add VA, get it packed again. Um, I'll try to get that part done tonight. Across the back is done. Up along the hydrants is done. That side is done. The, the part that I wish was done is... Uh, up around the barn it's probably the softest spots it's probably going to be the most labor intensive just because i can't get the tractor in everywhere so yeah we've got some work ahead of us over here but well i don't know we've still got some hours left in the day even if the sun has gone down we'll work away at that a few hours tomorrow well yeah, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to be optimistic that we can get sand in here, get a bunch of this done, and maybe actually have it close to done by tomorrow night. Yes.
That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be optimistic before the rain. We'll have a good chunk of this done. Well, well, I'm not going to say it looks pretty, because <laughs> it doesn't, but this stretch is packed and covered in. I kind of gave up on leveling it perfectly because I, I assumed filling it in was a higher priority than getting it perfect. Plus, it's actually, even where I've leveled it, it's much uglier than what Calvin had it. So chances are he's going to have to come back anyway and tidy this up. The only part that didn't get packed is up here. It's so soft. Like, the... What? Whacker? Thumper? I don't know what you call it. Anyway, that tamper. That's the one. Tamper um, really didn't like being uneven and going through all this loose stuff. So at least it's filled in. Rain is coming tomorrow. Snow is coming the day after that. Um, so who knows where we're at. But at least we've made progress and hopefully we have a few less holes to pump after this run. So maybe I was a little optimistic in how much I could get done, but I'm feeling much better in where we're at. We've got water again. We'll get it pumped because it's gonna start freezing up and we've got three or four days of it getting cold enough to make this into an ice block. So let's uh, try to avoid that. Mm -hmm.